Oh, this is a rabbit. I've had this since I was a little kid. Well, I was gonna make a hat, but I didn't have enough. Yeah, I just been move. I just always move things around. Yeah, it's kind of vicious, huh? Should I, do you want me to try the intro now? Hey, I'm Ulrich Yule, and um, I'm working with blisshouse.com, and they have a few of my pieces up on their website. Uh, feel free to check them out. Got some other good stuff on there as well. Yeah, the, so the skull, the skull is a, uh, it's actually, when I was doing the, the monotype process, it's, it's kind of like a lot to try and articulate. The skull is actually part of a series. I, can, I could show you um, the progression. Probably doesn't need too much explanation from that. <laughs> it's, it was, I, I had a, I, I mean, a, there's a series of encounters with, with uh, my own mortality, so that kind of has to do with that, I suppose. I was just making it. I mean, I wasn't intending it to be a self-portrait, but it sort of has a uh, element of that, you know. It was it was definitely a meditation on my own mortality. You know, they maybe had the original at home, and then. Um, had a, a print up at, at Bear Flag, and somebody somebody stole it. <laughs> so then I, I th thought I was I was kind of flattered uh, as I was annoyed, but um, it, it's probably somewhat inspired by Sano, and um, it has its own story to it. But um, I'd rather leave that up to people having their own experience of it than um, me telling them what it means to me and projecting that on their experience because uh, it's meant to be uh, viewed from different perspectives and I, I think that, I mean that's like any good song or um, you know should have the personal meaning, but then as it becomes art, it uh, has a life of its own. And um, even for me, you know, the, the meaning of a painting or sculpture will change over time. And I think that one at one point was like man in the sea or something like that. Um, Rodin, renamed his pieces periodically, which uh, gives me comfort because I've done that quite a bit over the years. It, I feel like there's never just one one name, but it helps when people are <laughs> re trying to refer to something that you've made. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I know I was thinking of uh, being at sea, I think that's all like the horizon and a man on a boat is always uh, kind of poetic and there, there's a feeling of, uh, I mean, I think he's setting sail, but um, he's going where the, where the current's taking him to. So maybe he's taking down the sail. That's kind of up to the viewer, you know, like there's always a, it's always uh, things live in the mind, you know. Um, it also kind of has like a Warshaw like test feel to it, where I've wanted these things to be very like abstract and gestural, explore the relationship between something and nothing, I guess. I know that I haven't talked to Tom Curran about it, but I did talk with. Tom Surveyus, like asked him if he'd mind if I use the, the photo as reference and told him I wanted to 
get one and he he was stoked and he's cool yeah i'm not i'm not sure about the legalities of it but being is i've been thinking about doing it for uh, a sculpture inspired from this cutback I, you know you've been looking at this since we were kids you know and uh and he 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 was really stoked about it i wouldn't want to do it without his like consent or, or his blessing my name is Ulrich Ewell and I have some artwork on blisshouse.com, three S's. <laughs>